Other common indications for ERCP are stenosing tumors in the area of the biliary tract, pancreatic tumors, and tumors of the bile ducts themselves. For the decision as to whether I use a plastic or a metal stent, the location of the tumor as well as the life expectancy of the patient is decisive. If this is considerably more than three months, we will always try to place a metal stent, which will not need to be replaced subsequently. The replacement frequency for plastic endoprosthesis is 10 to 12 weeks. Metal stents often remain open for three quarters of a year and longer. We are showing the case of a 67-year-old female patient with complex tumors for whom several liver metastases have already been removed. She has now developed a lymph node metastasis behind the head of the pancreas, which is pressing on the bile duct. We will bridge the stenosis with a self-expanding metal stent, which is fully covered. The coating ensures that the stent remains open for a longer time due to no tumor ingrowth. Here you can see the release of a stent outside the body. Until the red point is reached, the stent can be pulled back into the sheath at any time, and the position corrected. Once the red point is reached, the stent must be released. The delivery system is rinsed before it is introduced via the wire. Once the guide wire is in place and fixed with the forceps elevator, the delivery system can be pushed toward the tip of the endoscope quickly and then, with support from the assistant and the endoscopist, placed past the stenosis into the desired target position. This is usually done using radiological monitoring. Once the target position is reached, i.e. the end of the stent behind the stenosis, the stent is released. This is done by the assistant and the examiner pulling back the handle with the delivery device fixed in place. This is initially done under radiological view until the distal end of the stent has been correctly released behind the stenosis. After this, the rest of the procedure is performed predominantly with the endoscope taking into account the yellow marking in the endoscopic image. This ensures that the distal flare of the stent is placed in the duodenum. The correct position is documented by radiology, and the delivery system can be removed. If the stent is placed too far into the bile duct, it can be grabbed with the lasso and its position corrected. 